All right, so today we have a clip here of Michael Knowles saying that we should be as conservative as a society as we were in the year 1220. Yes, 1220. I know that that might have been confusing for some of you. And uh, we also have a clip here, uh, two clips, both Michael Knowles, of him complaining about the pride flag or trans flag or just pride in general. I, uh, I don't know. Here it is. She says her daughter felt coerced to participate in the pride event and was offended by some of the messages, like this quote from Tennessee Williams. Human heart cannot be straight. It is curves and winds. And my daughter just kind of said, you know, Mom, that's... That's offensive to, to me, who I am straight. Okay, so I'm just going to comment really quick on what that lady just said. Uh, you know, she said, my, my daughter is straight, and she saw this, this, this poster right here that says, what is straight? A line could be straight or street, but the human heart, oh no, it's curved like a road through mountains. Uh, Tennessee Williams quote, and um, clearly this is, I mean, I'll move my cam just so you guys can see the whole thing. Uh, we can't even see the whole thing because uh, of the little banner down there. But it's, it's just, it's one of those things that you would see in a school, maybe in the hallway or hanging on a door or, you know, wherever they hang stuff in schools like this. And it's supposed to make kids that m might be a part or feel like they might be a part of this community feel comfortable it's supposed to make kids that might not be straight that have those feelings it's supposed to make them feel comfortable about it okay that's all that this is doing and this mom says that you know my daughter said that's offensive to me as a straight person and i don't know if the daughter really said that i have no way of knowing that but I do feel like if she did say that, she's most definitely being conditioned to think a certain type of way, and that's what made her say that. Because again, like I'm straight, I am 100% straight, and that that had that was there was nothing wrong with that. And if I that was my kid's school, and I had straight kids, I don't have kids. I've said this multiple times. I do not have any kids, but if I did have kids. I, they went to that school and I saw that on the wall, I would have no issue with that. And I would also don't think my children would have any issue with that. It's weird. It's a weird thing to get upset about. And these people, these are the people that run around and say, well, you know, we're, we're not bigots. To, to me, who I am straight. Yeah, that flag is offensive to all normal people. It is a symbol of pride. That this is, this is, this is, this is language right here that I take so much issue with, and I will even tell people that are talking to me in real life that I take issue with the word normal. I don't know what the word normal, like, how do you define normal? I feel like everyone has a different definition of the word normal because something that's normal to me might not be normal to somebody else, vice versa, but it's like that with so many different things, like cultures. Cultures are so different in different parts of the world. There are things that are normal here in America that aren't normal anywhere else in the entire world. And again, vice versa. So when he says that flag is offensive to all normal people, what is your definition of normal, Michael? Because I don't think you're a normal person, and apparently it offends you so greatly. So how, are, how do you define normal? You need to define what you think is normal. And I guess normal to these people is uh, pretty much um, anyone that holds uh, traditional conservative values, pretty much um, straight, white. Uh, I, I don't necessarily want to say men, but mostly men, women too. Um, uh, yeah, so like, again, it's just, he says that's offensive to all normal people. I mean... You know, I think I think like most people consider themselves normal people. Like you think you're a normal person. I don't think that that flag's offensive at all in any way, shape, or form. And I think if you're getting offended by it, you're a snowflake, and you probably have a lot of really deep insecurities that you probably need to you know start working on. I, again, if that's offensive to you, then there's it, you, it, you, there's something wrong with you. You have a problem that you're not willing to address. The deadliest of the seven deadly sins. It obviously has no place in a middle school classroom, and frankly, it should be middle banned school. from all public spaces because it's evil and degenerate 
and signifies an ideology that is contrary to truth, goodness, beauty, and reality. And they see, they sit there and they say, well, we're not bigoted, you know, we're just, it, we're just, it's just facts, it's just, it's just, you know, it's what the science says, but then they never show the science. They never show what actual, what actual research has been done on all of these different things that they say are evil and degenerate and anti-beauty and anti-science. It's, it, it's just straight bigotry. That's all it is. There's no way getting around that. And the thing that I really take issue with, because this, is this is where I'm at with this, okay, is these people, they have a problem. And again, and I, this is the point that I'm trying to make with this. They sit there and say that they're not bigots. But then they turn around, and these are the same people that say that we should be proud to be American. We should be proud of our, of our heritage. You know, white people should be, should be proud. We should be proud of our founding fathers. You know, uh, they go all out with the patriotism bullshit. And it's like, they get to shove that down everyone's throats 24-7, 365, and that's A-OK. -okay. But when people want to take pride in their sexuality, when we're trying to be more accepting as a society of minorities, uh, to minorities, then it's bad. Then pride is bad. But it's it's okay if again you're showing pride to your country. If you're if you're if you're proud to be American. If you if you if you're showing pride to the American flag, it's all good. But they're not bigots. Make it make sense. And when I say make it make sense, I mean Michael Knowles. And it is an indictment of our political order that the warmed over hippies and other deviants running our schools need to- It has nothing to do with politics, and that's the sad thing. He says it's, it's, it has nothing to do with politics. It shouldn't be a political issue. It shouldn't, and it is, and that's a problem. These people are normal people. Guess what? Trans people are still people. They get rights too. Gay people are still people. They get rights too, just like everyone else. This shouldn't be a political issue. Trans rights- and our human rights, it's not a political, this shit should not be a political issue. They're human fucking beings. What the fuck is he talking about? Absolutely insane. Learn that lesson from 11 year olds. That is very sad. She says- Michael, I, he's, he's literally, f I mean, I, I don't know what to say other than he is literally fucking insane. I mean, that clip was complete insanity. This guy's fucking crazy. I, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this next one, but here it is. Americans are as conservative today as they were back in 2012, which is fine and it's a good start given how much more liberal the country had become since 2012. But if 2012 is the end point, then we might as well pack it in, guys. I do not want America to be as socially conservative as it was in 2012. I want our civilization to be as socially conservative as we were in 1220, okay? 1220. I 1220. He's being serious. 1220. I don't, I just, I mean, like, I don't know how people watch him. I, I really don't know how he has fans. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people on the right, and they've told me in the comments before, that think that about me. Think this about me. I just, I don't know how people can sit here and listen to this and think, oh, yeah, I agree with that. I think that that's great. 1220. When life was so great. Forget it. I don't even want the 1950s. I don't even want the 1880s. I want 1220. I think that would be. A I don't think he could. I, I don't think. Number one. I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, I know he said, you know, as socially conservative. I, I don't know how. I, I don't think you could. He could trace. The traditional values that I think, you know, that clearly Michael Knowles says he holds. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I just, I don't think that those American conservative traditional values, I don't think you can trace them back that far, buddy. He's so, you, you want to live in a really, really, really wild world. 1220, that was so long ago. I don't think Michael Knowles would be able to tell you what was actually going on in that time period. Good spot to land at. What? I, at the very least, I think we ought to be 
as conservative as we were. So, bef- so he means before the American Revolution. So according to Michael Knowles, according to Michael, the American Revolution is literally, that's, that's anti-freedom, according to him. Because, you know, conservative values are freedom, right? But then he wants to go back to 1220, before America was free, before America was America, you know, by, I mean, like the colonists and shit or whatever. Before all the modern ideologies started corroding our civilization. Because that's been the big problem. What? What? I'm, I'm... 1220. I feel like he just pulled that number out of his ass and then instead of like saying like, oh, ha ha, that was a joke. Now he's like actually running with it, but it's not, I feel like it's not working. The reason that a lot of people for a long time became more socially conservative, more open, more tolerant is because they had the pillars of our civilization to rely upon. The church, the family, the productivity, the political order what what does he keep he keeps saying this i'm i'm the political order again how how is the political order coincide with trans and gay people how i don't what this is the same guy that got on stage at cpac and said that transgenderism because he he will threaten to sue if I get it wrong. Because Michael Knowles is a he's a he, he takes what he takes this very seriously. Said that transgenderism, excuse me, must be eradicated from society entirely. But he didn't say transgender people. He said transgenderism, the ideology. Because to these people, it's an ideology. You get brainwashed into being trans, according to them. But they, that hold these insane, batshit crazy values, like, I want to live in 1220. I don't know anyone that wants that. He's not brainwashed, and he's not brainwashing other people either. This, according to Michael, is normal. Living in 1220, because of how socially conservative they were, That's normal. The institutions, the system of law, we had all of that to rely upon. And so (laughs) we were just... It's gotten... So all of this stuff, according to him, is gone now. There is no more church. There is no more family. Uh, There are no more, uh, I I guess, you know, they're just like laws and all of this stuff. See, this this is something that I, you know, I've... I hear people say all the time, you know, and... Times are tough for different people in different spots, you know. But things overall have only gotten better as time progressed. And that's how shit works. As time goes on, shit gets better. We have better technology than we ever had before. We have better medicine than we ever had before. Whatever it is, stuff only gets better. It progressively gets better. And according to Michael, all of these things he just listed off, they're, they're, they're gone. They're totally to the wayside. I guess Michael Knowles thinks America is like some like third world, like, I don't know, war torn, uh, no government I, like type of like nation. I just it's he's just describing it in such a just stupid way. We were just leaning on that while we were indulging in an ideology that was eroding all of that. This is the thing about liberalism is liberalism, including the old classical liberalism. It's just like an acid that you pour onto your civilization and you're the one saying you want to live in 1220 how is that not i i don't know maybe you like it maybe it's like lysergic acid you know maybe it's like a drug or something people kind of like this acid he's so fucking weird i just he's sitting there talking about normal and he is so fucking weird he says the weirdest shit it's all of the daily wire people are fucking really strange i mean shapiro walsh brett um fucking uh, Jeremy, the guy who runs it, the old guy, can't even remember his name. For a while, but it just starts to eat away at at the thing upon which it must uh, rest. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Michael Knowles, everybody, uh, please let me know what you thought. Let me know um, if you agree with Michael Knowles, if, uh, you know, going back to how socially conservative we were, if, uh, you know, going back to the time period of 1220, let me know if you think that that's a good idea. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and press that little bell. Turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload.